Hello everybody, my name is Nick, and welcome to Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. This wonderful piece of nostalgia is the new series because I decided let's not do another horror or survival series, let's do something fun. So, let's get right into it. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. I, 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 it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. OK. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. OK. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick. Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? And that's how the apocalypse started. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Probably. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? You look at them. They have words on them. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. F. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Yep. Yeah, it is. Explore the kitchen, explore the bedroom, explore the attic, explore the closet. Oh, where'd the sign go? Ah, well, such I is life. Make myself a snack, but there's no time! Press F to read. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob alongside his quest. Or along his quest, pardon me. 
SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. M uh, more valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find and are in dangerous places. Yeah. Okay, nothing up here. Get everything we can, because we'll need it. So we're doing a complete run here. F. Nope, F. There we go. See ya. Okay. SpongeBob may see how well he's doing by pressing tab. Uh, the number in the upper right is how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas SpongeBob has collected. And the number in the lower right is how many Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. And finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. Yeah, that all checks out. Getting some nostalgia here. Wonder if I could somehow record my old PS2. <laughs> okay, got everything in here. Let's go into the bedroom. Money. Ooh. SpongeBob may jump by pressing space and pressing space again while he's midair, yada yada yada, to double jump for extra height, but SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. Yeah. Uh, this is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. Yes. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like the <laughs> this. <laughs> Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area back over again. SpongeBob may get underwear that he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out with three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom. Uh, which, if found, will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Okay. Spongebob can check how many pairs of underwear he has, uh, has on by pressing tab. You know, I'm good with just, uh, single pair, sponge. but, okay. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Ooh, good stuff. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Sign. By pressing left mouse button, it'll do a bubble spin. SpongeBob may use the bubble spin to smash open tiki's or push buttons or walls or defeat most robots. Most, not all. SpongeBob may also bubble spin mid jump to hit things that are higher up. Yep. We walk. I love opening presents. Like that. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Smack, smack. F. Press right mouse button midair and Spongebob will do a bubble bounce attack. The bubble bounce attack can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below Spongebob or push buttons on the ground. Spongebob may only do, a, do the bubble bounce mid move, I'm sorry, bubble bounce move midair. Like so. Yeah, money. Oh. One more sign. Press E while on the. Did I just say Y for a second? Press. Don't do that to me. Okay. Press E while on the ground, and SpongeBob will do a bubble bash attack. Uh, the bubble bash attack can smash tiki's or robots or push buttons that are directly above SpongeBob. When you see this icon, SpongeBob can stand. Ah, uh, stand on it and do the bubble bash tag to break tiki's directly above him. Yeah. Now we got a beach ball. Let's get that shiny object. There's a sock up there. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Yeah. Oh boy. Wait, no. No. This is where I keep all my old comic books. I can make it. Yeah. Got a sock. Did I read this one yet? 
I see all SpongeBob is doing in every level of the game. Press escape. Pros. Okay, yada yada yada. Maybe Basically, how to fast travel. Tired of reading. It's gonna drag out the episode. Why do I feel like I missed a couple of uh, shiny objects? Oh well. We have more than enough. Golden spatula, on my clothes, and a big ass closet. Your bikini bottom stinks. Oh hell no! Breaking news! Bikini bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> yeah, no. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Oof. Uh oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Oof. Well, let's go fix this mess. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Nowhere. Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. Oof. I love those spoons like they were my children. <laughs> they bent the spoons. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks. That's just rude. <laughs> it's very Not rude. The forks? Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden oh, boy. spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Whoopee. Smash some things and get some shiny objects. Hey, SpongeBob! Oh! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Hey, bubble, bubble buddy. buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble-blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. You raise a good point. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch e. yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that Why? is directly above you. Try it out. Yeah. Shines. Just destroyed everything. Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Yes. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay. okay then, for every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You got yourself a deal. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> this oh, game. Patrick will be glad to have this back. There we go. Now that platform's activated. Okay. And okay. 
Yada yada yada, press E. Time to get a pair of underwear. No, come back. And a spatula, now that I remember. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah. What else do we have? Crabs. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. Oof. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Mmm. Your treasure How much? looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Okay, 3,000. I'm a bit of a ways out. Right, talk to everybody here. To the jellyfish fields we go. Wait, nope. F. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Okay? Clearly not. No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? You know what? Backtrack. Yes, you do. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! Oof. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. Amputate! <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish! Amputate! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. Oh, skip the line. Spork, the ultimate utensil. Get those shiny objects, because we're going to need them. Just my size. Smacking jellyfish for no reason. I'm going fishing for robots. Smack. Feel like a new sponge. Mmm, points. I love opening presents. What's back here? It shines. Ooh. Wait a minute, that suck. Okay, 125 for this. We can afford it. Amazing supply drop there. Incredibly accurate. Hey! Money. Smack, smack. Smacking more jellyfish. Busting robots. I can't get that sock just yet. Uh, 
Okay. Oop. Oof. Oof. All right. Could be better. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hey, Gary. Killed it. Shaking. Hey, wow. Gary. Wow. Ooh. Wow. A bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Nope, let me get it. Got it. I don't think using your underwear is uh, safe, comfortable. I feel like a new sponge. If it works, it works. Not my preferred bungee jump method. Hmm, checkpoint. Easy. No, come back. I need the bowl attack for this one. Yep. Blue jellyfish. You're different, but I forgot why. It's been that long. Got all you. Don't touch the water, ever. Take that. Going for it. Money. You know, I wonder if they have any other old school PS2 games on the PC. Suck. Never really thought to check. Huh. And jump. And the box is open. Now we can travel between the two areas. All the way up there. I need to hit that island here soon. Do that right after I get the spatula. Step back from you because you explode. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, push, push. Yeah. Before we travel that area, we're getting that sock. Because we are beating this game 100%. Very easy, very doable. But you gotta know where to look. And up here, jump onto you. Get 
Yeah. And we got a sock. Patrick needs to do laundry. And a lot of shiny objects. And forward we go, with nothing to stop us. Gary! Got anything useful? I just hit my pet. Okay. Busted robots everywhere, don't know how that happened. Eat up, everybody. God, I love how beautiful this game is. Probably one of my favorite games, if not the favorite, on the PlayStation 2. Glad they made it for the uh, PC and, like, PS4 and whatnot. Jump. Go. And the next area we will go. Wow, Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail. Wait, what? Huh? Wh what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Someone give Mermaid Man the script, he forgot. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Oof. Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here Later. Come, Patrick! All right. Bust you. Extra shiny objects. Greed will be the death of me. Time to have some fun. Two socks in one run. Oh boy. Uh, you need to get to Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable, clearly. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. Oh, what a crying shame that violence is the answer. more things. There we go. Everything's all better now. Hey, SpongeBob. Patrick. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Excellent question. Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. 
It's a golden turkey baster, obviously. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. That'll conclude this episode. Hope you all enjoy what you saw here today, and I will see you all in the next one.